When you first spawn on the beach, take a look around and see if you can find any nearby compounds. Instead of running away from the compound, go to your nearest tree and start chopping it down. Oh, what? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, yo! All right, calm down, relax. Hey. Okay, so like I was saying, chop down the tree and then craft yourself a building plan. Go around the compound and see if you can find any sweet spots. <laughs> if you're lucky to find one, build up and then hop into the compound. Uh. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now look around, look in the furnace and see what you can find. You never know what you can find, you know? Oh, oh my god, look at all this smoke. Oh no, 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 this can't be it. This... <laughs> Instead of right clicking to select your upgrades, try right clicking and left clicking at the same time to quick upgrade. As long as you have the material on you, it'll always go to the next best thing, so the wood will go to stone, just like this. If you want to go from twig to stone, just take out all the wood out of your inventory and just do the same thing. When going to a vending machine to buy a weapon, never buy a bullet. You don't need to. Because when you craft the weapon after learning the blueprint, it provides you with bullets. So you just can research those and save your scrap. Crouching while shooting will decrease the recoil that your gun has. Pair your phone with your server using the Rust Plus app and then make sure you have the notifications enabled. Then, when you're ready to log off, always log off at the front door. This is because if you end up getting raided, the person most likely will end up killing you. So then you'll get a notification letting you know that you died. Now, if you're awake at this time, chances are you're probably not gonna because, you know, dweebs like to raid you while you're sleeping. But if you're awake at this time, you may be able to log on quick enough and catch them off guard and successfully defend your base. When placing a bag outside of your base, always place a secret stash with some type of weapon in it. When you die trying to defend your base, you can spawn at this bag, grab the weapon out the secret stash, and creep up slowly and get the surprise kill. Uh, hi? <laughs> Instead of always using the drag feature to split your items, there are other quick ways to do this. Right click and drag for only one item. Center mouse click and drag to split items in half. Holding on to shift and center mouse clicking and dragging will split items into one third. This is great for when you want to split resources in your furnace quickly. When looting, instead of dragging everything over one by one, or even right clicking everything over one by one, go into your settings and change hover loot to the best button that you can that's easily accessible. Me, I changed it to mouse 3 which is my thumb button. So now when you hold on to the button and you hover over the items with your cursor, you can instantly transfer them over just like this. Simple. After you get on top of dome and finish looting everything and it's time to go down, most people will try to go back this way and for me, I end up falling, so nah, I ain't with that. So there's a simple solution. Just come to the side on this side and just run right off. There's gonna be a pole right here that will stop you getting fall damage and then you just go down the side and bada boom, bada bam. Now you're at the bottom. Simple as that. Look at this, look at this, uh-huh. Look, and now we right here at the bottom, just like that. Rust Labs is a very helpful website that you can go to that can give you so much information. For example, it can give you information about how much Anything takes to get through a wall or even a door. For example, this stone wall right here, if you look at it, the durability, it'll take about 2C4 or 11 seconds to get through. Or if you want to melee something and you want a soft side, say you want a soft side inside because you got stuck inside. Okay, well, simple. You just scroll down. Hey, maybe I want to use some wooden spears. It only takes 23 wooden spears in 10 minutes. That's not just for what this website's about. This website has information about every item in this game. So if you need information about an item, come to this website. Damn, that's a lot of items. If you're new to the game and you're having trouble getting started, maybe try a modded server that gives you 10 times the amount of things that you get. Or even if you want to play on an official server, try a low pop server where there's not that many people to bother you and you can learn the monuments and stuff like that. 
If you want information about a server before joining it, come to Battle Metrics. It'll give you the ranking of the server, um, how many people are in it. You can see the people that have joined and left the game. You can see the average amount of players throughout the day. Like you can even see how long a player's been on the server for. Like if you're a stalker in real life, this website's for you. You can haunt your enemies at all times and know exactly what they're doing. During a raid, if you're struggling to find the person's main loot and you have no idea where to look, use a hammer and check the stability of the floors. All floors should be 100%. If you find one that isn't, then you just hit the jackpot. Oh, buddy, let's get it. <laughs> Bingo. What's his name? -o? Oh. For some reason, by default, you're not allowed to craft bandanas and boonie hats unless you buy a skin for them. I would suggest going on the Steam store and buying the cheapest skin that you can find for these items. Once you buy these skins, you will now be able to craft bandanas and boonie hats. So now, for just 5 extra cloth, you can get 5 extra damage protection for your head for early game use. How great is that? If you're struggling with PvP and Rust and seem to not be able to get any kills, try one of the modded training lobbies so you can get a touch and a feel on how the guns work. These lobbies will help you with your PvP skills. Two of my favorite lobbies is UKN.GG and Combat Tag, so check those out. You can also use these lobbies to warm up before you hop into a real server. I hope you found at least some of these tips helpful. For me personally, I didn't know any of these things when I first started Rust. I had to look around and research myself to find this information. So hopefully this helps out some new players and even maybe some veterans. You never know. And if you knew everything you didn't find this video helpful at all, then geez, man, you probably know more than me. Give me some tips down below. Comment some tips or something like that, man. Bro, you don't need to watch this video. You playing. You got it. You good.